followers, welcome back to my channel and to a slightly different video. How do I spend my day? Now these life hacks and tips and schedules have helped me become the youngest natural master in the world and the only in Australia. Now if you're coming into online marketing or engineering, these tips can help. So let's get right into it. Now before I go to bed, I like to read for some time. And this brings us to life hack number one. Find a good book to read, please. Your mind will automatically dive into the book and you will go to sleep thinking about that. But to achieve this, you need to read at least for an hour. And please don't pick a short book or read a short book thinking that your mind will dive in. It won't. Another crucial thing is not to pick a horror book. Trust me, I normally don't read horror books anyway. I like to read something that I can learn and profit from and books are super beneficial. After that, as shown, I like to stretch and then go to turn off the lights. But before I actually go to sleep, I have a galaxy light that I like to switch on. And then I get ready for bed and put on my blanket. So that there is my galaxy light. And then I go to bed and I like to put on my blanket, which is also a space one. The following morning I wake up at 5 o'clock a.m. I don't need an alarm clock, I have my own body clock that wakes me up. After that I stretch and turn on the light lamp, not the galaxy one, and start reading. In this video I'm reading Chris Hadfield's Guide to Life on Earth, it, that's his book. It's about how he survived an extraordinary time in space. He has broken into the space station with a Swiss army knife, temporarily blinded while clinging to the exterior of an orbiting aircraft and deposited of a live stake while piloting an aircraft. He is one of my inspirations. After that, I go and open the curtains. I like to make my bed thoroughly and I do it for quite some time. That's exactly why I'm uh, making, making a time lapse right here. But um, I like to do that because when I come back um, to sleep, it needs to be in a good mood, I'm not having to do it all over again. So I like to make my bed and be in a good mood when I come to sleep. Now this here is the night lamp that I talked about earlier, and that's what get me getting Chris Hadfield's Guide to Life and the book. This is me reading Chris Hadfield's Guide to Life on Earth. And that is an extraordinary book and I'm nearly finished reading it. And his hard work, even if you may not you know, get to part of the space world like him, his hard work wisdom will teach you how to view life on Earth, especially your own. And as I said before, I like to go and open the curtains. Doing this can elevate your mood amazingly. I had to use the lamp for eating because it was pitched up before because it was five o'clock a.m. It was dawn. Then I go to my desk and start jotting down any, you know, equation or whatever equation just comes into my mind. And trust me, a lot come. Whether it's about drag or velocity, I write it down. And this is life hack number two. Work in the morning. Whichever subject it is, express your thoughts down. All you need is a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. This gets your brain fully energized and in the zone for the day. I do this for a long time, at least like uh, 40 to 50 minutes, just doing this in my room, jotting down whatever idea comes, whether it's about lift, 
light particles, photons, anything. Maybe even a Zarus Rex. So I just like jotting, jotting that down. This is me. Now this is me happily coming out of my room, um, and I like to stay in that mood very happily, of course. And it's a quite a long way downstairs, and I'm pretty happy due to light, light, the light coming in. That's kind of a psychological science, and I relate everything to science, so that's just how your brain works. You see light, that elevated light, your mood will just be happy. Just like you know, when you see light coming out of your window, just like I showed you earlier, you will be happy when you wake up, and that's exactly what you want. So that's me opening the door in the sunlight, and I do my meditation inside, outside in the sunlight. Now that iPad I'm carrying carrying with me is the one I use for small work, like uh, meditation music, which I have a pre-recorded one. I don't go on the internet by myself. I just use that. Um, I have an iPad Pro. That's the that's the formal one to use for my work. But this is just, you know, my informal one I use for my meditating. And go to an area of my house that my parents haven't seen before much. And jump onto a very high windowsill, as you can see there. It takes some time to get there because the house and corridors are so big and take so much time to navigate through. And now you can see me jumping onto the very high windowsill. And I put on my meditation music. I start eating my breakfast. My mum only gives me milk rice and I eat cereal shortly after. Then I do a shower and do all the things, etc, 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 and get ready to go to my secret underground laboratory. So when I go into my secret underground cave, you can see this door. And when that door opens, guess what's going to be revealed? Another door. And let's see what happens when we open that door you're going to see a very small green hub. Now it's so dark and so secret that you can't see it at all. But I don't want my viewers to be disappointed, but I'm gonna include it in this video. But you have to look at it with your eyes shut. First it looks like that, but if you open your eyes a tiny bit, it looks like this. So yes, you can look at it, not so secret anymore. Tons of tons of books. After that, I get out of my library and get ready for dinner. Of course I have lunch through the middle of my secret underground laboratory. Add through my corridor of books, thousands of books. A quick awareness ad. Always remember to wash your hands thoroughly after doing something, like reading a 60 year old book. So don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And thanks for watching.